Greetings to all and welcome to this uh, series of uh, videos on Oracle Apex. Today we are going to try to answer to a request from one of the subscribers who wrote, I would like to see end-to-end -end development process for social wizard based on two tables. The first two steps of the wizard, transferring to the third step some values from the two steps. Thank you and best regard. So I guess you understand this is about the wizard that we presented last time. That wizard was made up of three steps. And uh, our subscriber would like us to see values moving from the first and two steps automatically to the third steps. It's what we are going to do today. That is the purpose of this demo. Thank you. So we can safely go to Apex. I am already in Apex. I'm going to open the app that we presented last time. The three steps that uh, the subscriber is talking about. Those were the three steps to identify a student. Step two, to identify a course. And step three, to enroll. So the subscriber would like us to take a value automatically from step one and step two and automatically transfer that value to step three. So let us go to step one, that is page 24. It is important to remember this page number. Step one is page 24. So we open step one, the page of step one. Now that the page of tape one is open, I would like us to add, to modify it slightly. So I'm going to right click on it and add, uh, create a sub region in that page. Create sub region on step one. Let's start again. I go to step one, identify a student, this one. I right click on it. And then I say create sub region. The sub region has been created. Now, what is the name? It's simply called new. New. So I'm going to change the name. Instead of calling it new, I'm going to move to the right. The title on this side, just below identification here. I'm going to change the name and call it input the chosen uh, that will choose the student ID. Student ID ID S I D below. So the purpose of this region is for the user to input the student ID that he or she has chosen. So I can go back, click there, and you see that that region now appears here. Very, very good. So I am now selecting that region and right-clicking on it, and I'm going to add a page item, create page item. Now that I have created page item, the name of the item is P24. So I can go and change that name because actually what is the purpose of that item? The purpose of that item is to choose. We will call it chosen student ID. Very good. That is 
these items. So we need to do a few settings here. What is the type of that item? It's just a text. And uh, I think that should be fine. I don't think that there is a specific setting to be done. So I'm simply going to save the work and just see if everything is fine. It has been saved. Let's summarize, we now have a new region with a text box below it that is for the user to enter the chosen item. Maybe we can just change the label slightly, chosen student ID, I, uh, ID, why not, should be fine. Let us run it and see how does it look like. Exactly. This is the table of students that we presented last time. And we can see here the students' IDs. And then the user can now come and type. Let's say the user wants to choose student ID number 21. So, so far, so good. Let's go to the next step, which is now step two, and try to do the same thing. So I'm going to close this one. Uh, I leave it. This one is not an issue. And then this one has been saved. From there, I can go back to page 25 now, which is now on step two. Step two, we are going to do exactly the same thing. I start by step two here, right click, from there create a sub region. After creating a sub region, we want to give it a beautiful name instead of it just being called new. So I go to the right and I change new. We said we wanted to call it input chosen course input chosen course id i think is c id and from there that should be enough we can just save it to see if it is accepted yes it has been accepted from there we right click on the chosen input and we create a page item now we don't want p25 new we are going to change it and call it p25 chosen uh, course id and uh, that should be fine let us save it I think we have done what we have to do for the two steps. Now, let's go to the third step. I'm going to application. And the third step is page number 26. Now that we're in page number 26, we know SID is a student ID and CID is the course ID. Those are the two that we want to automatically link with the two previous pages. This is what is happening. I'm right clicking on it and I'm just going to say create computation. Now after create computation, I will come to that side. It's not an SQL query. I will select item. Once I have selected item, I am going to say it's not uh, 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 an item. What is the item name? I will go to a certain page. The student, I told you, be careful which page number was the student was page number 24. Then I will say go. Exactly, I'm going to click on P24 chosen student ID. From there, I can simply save. 
it has been saved. Let us do the same for the course ID. I will right click. From there, I will create a computation. And uh, it is not a SQL query here in computation. I'm going to choose an item. And uh, which item is it? I'm going to choose it from here. And I think the custom page is page 25. Let us search for it. On page 25, we'll choose page, choose course item. And then that is it. Can we now save it? Yes, it is being saved. So if we go and run the app now, we go to the application and we simply run the app and now we ask as admin we want to input present enroll yes that was this one and the first step is asking input the student id below which one do we want the one that we want let's say we are choosing number 20 one right then we can simply go to next then it say input the chosen course id which one do we want maybe number 101 then we simply say next and now you can see automatically the student id is 21 the course ID is 101. Then I can now just input the year, which is now 2022. And then we can finish. And it will tell you one row has been added. Thank you. I think we have achieved what we wanted to do. I think you.